I'm Katrina Fenlon and I'm excited to introduce you to our DPLA Beta Sprint effort. It's a joint effort between the Digital Library Federation and the IMLS Digital Collections and Content Project here at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Our sprint is made up of two streams of work, um, which we hope together will tell a compelling story about what a DPLA could be. The first is aiming to produce a functional prototype aggregation based on the existing IMLS digital collections and content aggregation that we hope will demonstrate a rich and diverse base of content, technical processes, and development principles for a future DPLA. And the second stream of work aims to produce a supplementary research report that will describe and review existing large digital aggregations and how they might fit into this picture. Hi, I'm Jacob Jett, the Project Coordinator for Digital Collections and Content here at UIUC. Um, we're one of the largest uh, digital aggregations of uh, digital cultural heritage collections here in the U.S. Um, we've aggregated collections from libraries, museums, and archives in over 44 states. Our project has been running for more than eight years, funded by the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Um, and we've been researching and what it takes to build an aggregation of our size and use it to provide services to users. Hi, my name is Peter Organischek and I'm a research assistant on the prototype part of this beta sprint. Uh, with the prototype we'll be demonstrating the possibilities of what you can do when you can bring or when you bring together just as much content as we have in, in IMLS CCC. So we'll be showing this both in a working interface, a working live interface, and also some of our more experimental research ideas will demonstrate through mock-ups and through a smaller test bed of content. Hi, my name is Richard Urban and I am a graduate research assistant working on the DPLA Sprint. I'm going to be working on a special research stream that looks at the kinds of services and architectures we may need for future phases of the DPLA. In order to do that, we're going to be looking at past research from the IMLS DCC, along with other state and regional aggregations, and other larger international projects like Europeana. Um, we're, the final outcome of this will be a research report that we will publish, um, and we're also talking to other sprints about what it is that they're thinking about these high-level issues, and would be happy to talk to any of you more.